everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Victoria and I'm one of the event directors here at the Ospreys of Belmont Bay. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Real Wedding Talk right here at the Ospreys of Belmont Bay. Um, if you have not already, pause what you are doing, like this video, and don't forget to also subscribe to our channel. We upload new videos every Tuesday. Um, today we are talking about the eight things that you need to consider when you are booking your dream venue. Um, of course, we would love for all of the couples in the world to book their wedding here at the Ospreys, um, but we know that there are different needs for different couples. So today, we are just going to give you a general overview of the eight things that we think are the most important for you to consider when you are looking for your dream venue. So without further ado, let's jump right into our very first tip. So tip number one, uh, we're going to talk about venue capacity. Probably the number one rule when you are searching for your dream venue is to make sure that whatever venue that you book um, has enough capacity for the amount of guests that you plan to invite. Um, the last thing that you want to do is fall in love with a venue that only has capacity for 150 guests when you're planning to invite 200. So as you are searching for the perfect venue, the homework that you need to do beforehand um, is kind of consolidate, talk with your partner and figure out roughly how many people you plan to invite. You don't have to have all of your guest lists figured out right away, um, but kind of figure out a general rule of how many people you want to invite and then kind of hone your search based on that. Um, this will save you a lot of time in your search and it'll also save you a lot of heartbreak down the line. <laughs> Tip number two, first impressions. When you are searching for your dream venue, you also want to make sure that there is something about the venue that catches your eye right away. Whether it be gorgeous waterfront views, mountain views, even take note of the cleanliness of the venue as you are searching. Um, there should definitely be something that as you arrive and your guests arrive that they are wowed um, when they see your venue. Tip number three, venue staff. Um, be sure to ask about or do your research and see if there will be a staff member that is on site throughout the duration of your event. Now, this might seem like a no brainer. You think, well, of course, there's going to be somebody there through my wedding, but not all venues subscribe to the same common sense rules. Um, here at the Ospreys, your event staff person, we call your event director, formerly known as a day of coordinator. Um, that individual will be on site for your wedding um, first. They will be here before anybody else, and they will be the last person to leave. Um, that individual will also help make sure that they check in all of your other wedding day professionals. We will help ensure that your timeline runs smoothly and we'll even set out any of your DIY decor. Um, so lots of bonuses that are included when you book here, but you definitely want to make sure that there is somebody at the very least that's going to be there through the um, duration of your event, wherever it is that you choose to book. Um, tip number four, uh, rain plan. If you are searching for a venue with an outdoor ceremony and reception option, you have to make sure that that venue also has a contingency plan in the event of inclement weather. The last thing that you want is to have your dream um, vision for your wedding to be outside and then it starts drizzling and there's nowhere for you to go. Um, so definitely make sure that you figure out what that plan looks like. You actually see um, where the indoor accommodations are going to be and also make sure that the indoor accommodations can accommodate your guest count um, as well. So you don't want to, you don't want to book somewhere that can accommodate 200 people outside, but can only accommodate, um, 130 inside. So that's not going to match up. So definitely make sure that you look at the contingency plan of the venue. Tip number five, <laughs> um, when you're looking for your wedding venue, make sure that there are multiple photo op locations. Um, as you are searching, you definitely want to make sure that there are a variety of spots that you are going to get gorgeous photos to fill your wedding day gallery. Um, this definitely falls in line with the rain plan. If your ceremony and reception have to be moved inside, you definitely want to make sure that there are spots around the inside of the venue that are just as beautiful um, so you can get really nice pictures as well. Um, your professional photographer, which everybody's going to hire, right? Um, is going to also help you scout out different locations where you can take pictures, but definitely do your homework beforehand. Go on the venue's website and take a look at the photos and see that they have in their gallery and make sure that there's just a healthy variety of photos taken everywhere. <laughs> Tip number six. Um, so the suites. 
Um, while this may seem like a no-brainer and you would think, of course, my venue is going to have somewhere for me to go, um, not all venues do have a location that is designated for you and your significant other to get ready in before the start of the ceremony. Um, so this is definitely an important thing that you want to look at and to consider before you book your dream venue. Um, here at the Ospreys, we definitely have a suite that is designated for the bride or the groom um, that you can take uh, full advantage of to get ready in or to just decompress in before the start of the ceremony. Um, things to consider as you're looking at these suites, you want to make sure that they are spacious. Do they have bathrooms? Um, are they clean? And most importantly, are they on location? You don't want to book somewhere where the suites are five miles away from where the ceremony is going to start. Then you have to consider how you're going to get from that location to the venue. So these are definitely important questions to consider and things for you to keep in mind. Um, tip number seven, um, booze. Okay. Let's be honest, your wedding guests love you with all their heart. They have traveled from far and wide to be here to support you and your significant other on your special day, but they are arriving famished and thirsty. They are definitely looking forward to taking advantage of your open bar. Why this is important as you are searching for your venue? Because some venues are going to either lock you into a bar package or some venues are going to allow you to bring your own booze. Um, this is important to consider because it's going to greatly affect your wedding budget. Um, so if you book somewhere that has a set bar package that you have to lock into, um, definitely take that into consideration versus venues that allow you to bring your own booze. This is going to save you a lot of money. Trust me. And our final point, tip number eight, um, additional amenities. Take a look um, and ask your venue as you're doing your tour if there are any additional amenities that you can take advantage of, whether they be free or whether they come with a small rental cost. Um, these can be anything from easels to custom signage, champagne walls, different tables and chair options. These are all things that you're going to want to look into um, because again, they're gonna affect your budget and either help you save on cost um, or just save a headache on thinking about, well, do I need to get a card box or do I need to figure out what chairs I'm going to have? If the venue provides all of these things, then you've just helped yourself out. Um, so definitely ask, ask about anything. Trust me, believe me, when we are doing tours, we hear questions about everything. There's no dumb question. Remember that. Ask um, and you won't know until you ask. So definitely don't be embarrassed about asking any questions that you might have. All right guys, well we hope you enjoyed this video. Again, be sure to click the like button and definitely subscribe to this channel. We upload new videos every Tuesday so you don't wanna miss another episode of The Real Wedding Talk right here at the Ospreys. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next week, bye. Um, for any, um, for, for any of the, start over. <laughs>